Welcome everyone, it's Miss Gisa. Today, scientists, we are going to be talking about the life cycle of an ant. And our story is called, Are You an Ant? It's written by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you an ant? If you are, your mother is a queen. One hot summer day, she went on a mating flight with thousands of others so that she would be able to lay eggs. Afterwards, she flew down to the ground. She knew she didn't need her wings anymore, so she took them off. Then she dug herself a small room underground. Now that she is in a room, the queen begins to lay eggs. You are in one of them. Hatch out of the egg as soon as you can. You don't look like an ant yet. You're a larva and you're hungry. There are eggs all over the place. Eat some. It's all right. They won't mind. They're only eggs. Soon you must change into a pupa. A pupa is a little like an egg, only bigger. When you're ready, break out. You look almost like an ant, but you're white and soft. Don't worry. Slowly, your skin will become hard and black, and you'll look perfect. There are a lot of others like you. You are one of a big family. You are a worker. Work hard to build a nest. Dig storage rooms and nurseries and bedrooms and corridors. It's all right. You don't have to work alone. The others will work with you. You don't have any voices, but you can talk to each other by touching feelers. Don't eat any more eggs. Go out and hunt for food. Seeds are nice. So are bugs and wood lice. Springtails are delicious, but hard to catch because they jump. Bite your prey and spray it with acid from your tail. Actually, you're not a very good hunter. Look for bugs that have been stepped on. They're easy. You may think there's easy food in kitchens, but be careful. There are crumbs and grains of sugar, which are nice. There are also people, and they're not so nice. People don't like you in their homes. They may squash you, they may poison you, or they may sweep the floor so you can't find anything to eat. The best food is honeydew. It comes from aphids. Find a plant with aphids feeding on it. March up the stem with other workers. Now stroke an aphid until it gives you a drop of honeydew. It's a little like milking a cow, but you wouldn't know about that. You're an ant. Take care of your aphids. Ladybugs eat aphids, so look for ladybug eggs and throw them away. You must take food back to the nest. Some you can lift, some you can drag, some you can put in your second stomach. It's called a crop, and it's very useful for carrying spare food home. Back at the nest, there's plenty to do. Feed the queen, who is still laying eggs. Feed the larvae, who are still hatching. Take care of the eggs and larvae. When it's cold, carry them deep into the nest where it's cozy. When the sun warms the ground, carry them up near the surface. Oh, and don't forget to take out the garbage. Life isn't all food and work. There's danger too. Birds and lizards and toads think you are good to eat. Some birds pick you up and push you under their wings. Why? Because the acid in your body kills the ticks that bite them and make them itch. This is called anting. Anting is nice for birds. Anting is not nice for ants. However, if your family looks a little like this, or this, or this, you are not an ant. You are a human child. You don't have to take care of eggs and larvae. You don't have to milk aphids. You probably don't have to march in a line with a lot of others. Don't worry, you can do many things that ants can't do. Best of all, no bird is ever, ever, ever going to pick you up in its beak and stuff you under its wing. Did you know the ants in this book are black garden ants? but there are 10,000 different kinds of ants living all over the world. Some grow their own food, like South American leafcutter ants, 
carry pieces of leaves home and chew them up to make compost for their fungus gardens. Some are hunters. Thousands of African driver ants march in long columns eating any animal in their path if it doesn't escape in time. Some ants collect seeds and fruit and honeydew. These ants leave a scent trail to guide their worker sisters to the food. Some ants can sting, so be careful. Are you ready to do a life cycle activity with me? Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna use my figurines from insect lore to show you the life cycle of an ant. The ant's life cycle begins as an egg. Ant eggs are soft, oval, and tiny. And not all eggs will become adults because some are eaten by other nest mates for extra nourishment. Then the egg hatches into a wormed shape larva. The larva are eating machines. They rely on the adults to provide a constant supply of food. As a result, they grow rapidly, molting between sizes. The larvae have no eyes or legs. When a larva is large enough, it metamorphoses into a pupa. This is a stage of rest and reorganization. The pupa looks more like adults, but their legs and antennae are folded against their bodies. They start out whitish and gradually become darker. The pupae of some species spin a cocoon for protection, while others remain uncovered or naked. Finally, the pupa emerges as an adult. Young adult ants are often lighter in color, but they darken with age. The process from an ant, the process for an ant to start as an egg and complete the life cycle as an adult can take several weeks to months, depending on the type or species of ant and the environment. Did you know that ants, like all insects, are full grown when they become adults? Their exoskeletons prevent them from getting any larger. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about the ant life cycle. Remember to hit that subscribe button and like this video to support our channel.